about something right now. I want to talk about something right now. So I'm going to talk. I was over here thinking about how, like, people hate on dudes that, like, they don't put up with shit. Like, they don't put up with shit. And, and yeah, you got to be have a level of not putting up with shit, right? But you also want to be able to put up with shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I learned this from my dad, dude. But my dad would snap. The, the, the bad thing is, is like this. Okay, check this out. So, my mom would nag the fuck out of everybody in the house. Nag the fuck out of us all day long, dude. And if you have a n -n 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 -n, if you have a fucking n -n 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 nag, if you have a nagger for a mom, if you have a nagger for a mom, learn to let that shit roll off your back. You just block the fucking block. You just get out of my space. Block. It's like a force field, dude, that you put around you, and then it, all you hear is chirping in the background, but really, you're watching fucking cowboys on TV with your father, dude. You're watching San Diego soccers and shit. <laughs> so I learned how to let shit just... Let, 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 <laughs> yeah, I learned how to let the... Just let him, let the girl talk, dude. Let's just shut up and just, even if you have to pretend like you're listening, and you're listening, I'm listening, I hear everything, I hear everything, but I just don't give a fuck. I just don't give a fuck. It doesn't mean you don't care. It's just you're trying to make peace. You're just waiting, like, when a baby cries itself to sleep and shit. You're just waiting and shit. I've been in relationships where I was just like, Oh yeah? And they're being on the passenger passenger seat going And I'll be like Let him yell, dude, let him yell, dude. Just don't take it personally. And then I was thinking about how it gets to a point where it's like, this bitch isn't getting tired, dude. It's like when the baby, all babies eventually fall asleep. But this one over here, dude, oh my God, dude. You're still talking about that shit? You're still talking about that shit? That shit happened three months ago, you're still talking about that shit? They put little bookmarks and shit. You fuck up, they put a bookmark right there. And then they go back to that bookmark <laughs> whenever it's necessary. The girl go back to the bookmark and be like, February 11th, 2015, you said, <laughs> I said that shit? Yeah. I, I said that shit. I was on Ambium. Yep, I was on Ambium. Do you forgive me? Relax, dude. Fucking relax, dude. Women, uh, it's much easier. Vent. Vent all you want. Yell at your dude. Don't put your hands on him. Yell at your dude. Vent. Dudes, let them vent. Let them vent. Hear them. Hear them. Hear them. Let them vent. But if she doesn't fucking let shit go, if she doesn't fucking let shit go, it's over, homie. I don't know what to tell you. It's over. You got to bounce. You got to bounce. You look... Take it from fucking the king of the insults. Jordan Peterson ain't no fucking king of the insults, dude. I'm the fucking king of the insults. I'm the king of the insults. I'm the king of fucking weirdos. I'm the king of the insults. You know what incel means? Involuntary celibate. Hey, right now, why the fuck would I want to be banging anybody, dude? My socks don't even want to fuck with me. A socks, I look at a socket and it runs away from me, dude. My socks don't even want to fuck me right now. But I don't want to fucking bust nuts in anything else other than a sock. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. So, make yourself the best version of yourself. And you women out there, dude, you getting mad at these dudes, dude. These are big old fucking MIG toes and fucking camel toes. They're all mad at each other, dude. 
The MIG toes are mad at the camel toes. And the camel toes are mad at the MIG toes. And the fucking men and the women are all hating, hating each other. And it's like, dude, a country will collapse when the men and the women hate each other. The country will collapse. And it's not even about fucking... It's tribal, dude. It's tribal. There's black women and black men all fighting with each other. White women and white men are fucking fighting with each other. And on top of that, fuck, I'm being real, dude. You white mother... You white dudes are acting like... You let the girls just... They got bigger dicks than you, dude. They got bigger dicks than you, dude. I've seen it a thousand times where there's a white dude and a white woman together and the white woman is fucking wearing the pants in the relationship and she's got a bigger dick than the dude. And she's got a bigger dick than the dude. All I'm trying to say is, can we just get a little bit of tradition in this world? Just a little bit of culture. Yeah, who am I to talk? Who am I to talk? I'm somebody who cleans their beer while they drink their house. Yeah. I get drunk in hopes that it gives me enough energy. Beer is like spinach to me, dude. I get drunk hoping it gives me enough energy to where I can clean my mess. You fucking people out there all hate each other, dude. It's not my problem. It's not my problem. It's not my problem. I don't know how we're going to fix this shit, dude. How are you going to fix the American household? How are you going to put a man and a woman in a house? Make the man love the woman so much via the kids that he will die for her. And the woman respect the man's leadership so much that she wants to love the kids in his image. And the man love the kids in her image. That's 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 how you fix this shit. That's how you fix America. It's not a racial thing, dude. I'm telling you, it's not a racial thing anymore. Now it's a battle between men and women. Who would have fucking thought, dude? Who would have fucking thought? Whatever, dude. Whew. Where's my beer?